Patch 2.4 for Final Fantasy XIV is dropped for download, and players will now be able to enjoy a number of new additions and fixes to the game. As usual, Square Enix is adding a generous amount of new content you wouldn't normally see without a price tag. Several new quests have been added. Uh, in addition to the main storyline, everything from side quests to mood delivery and class quests have been added. Yes, class quests. A uh, new class and job has finally been added with this update. Uh, this previously revealed rogue class is now finally playable, and uh, when paired with a pugilist advanced up to level 15, you'll be able to unlock the ninja job as well. So, uh, you also won't have much trouble getting that new job geared up to take on a new content because uh, the soldier cap has been removed. Uh, mythology is now being phased out, so where myth tomes were previously awarded, uh, soldiery will take its place. Now, just because there are no more caps on soldiery, this doesn't mean you won't be grinding tome stones to cap uh, the week to week. And uh, they've gotten added new tomes called poetics and things to buy with it. Speaking of uh, gearing up, if I may mention another notable change in that vein, uh, for anyone who has endured the stresses of Atma farming, the drop rate for Atma crystals has been increased, so you'll be able to get your ninja Atma weapon in no time. Of the new dungeons added, uh, we have Snowcloak, uh, Sestasha Hard, and the Sunken Temple Hard. And for those who don't like going in without detailed information on how to beat these, I'm sure FAQs will be up before you can even wake up and download the patch. So. Uh, here's something to remember regarding the duty finder now. Uh, there is now a day-long penalty for withdrawing at the duty ready screen for letting a time out or letting a time out. So no more registering for duty when you're about to take a bio break. The final coil of Bahamut Raid has also been added, and so the weekly restrictions on second coils has been officially removed to help you catch up, uh, Savage Mode included. And for more casual players, uh, Circus Tower drops no longer have a weekly limits either. So yes, Square Enix really wants you to gear up so you can get psyched up for the inevitable expansion. Finally, there's two new trials, and in one of them, we get to take on Shiva. Now obviously, there's a long list of less notable changes, like bug fixes, uh, new hairstyles and model changes, uh, more craftable items, uh, explorable areas uh, such as a large fishing vessel, and more weapons and gear than you can count uh, to accommodate all the new classes from a number of different sources like uh, uh, grand company vendors, etc, etc, quests. Uh, there are changes to PV mechanics and gear, uh, floors no longer damage pets for some reason, uh, chocobos, uh, they no longer require a stable to feed Thapnerian onions for ranking them up, and also a uh, number of dungeons will now be synced to eye level 110 in order to keep them difficult. Uh, item levels have gone up for items as far as uh, I-130 as far as I've seen. So uh, good job Square Enix, and until next time, this is Darian signing off.